Hi, uh, my name is Dan Borba and I've been making, selling and installing rain barrels in Tacoma, Washington since 1999. And today we're going to do a uh, do-it-yourself uh, rain barrel assembly. And um, the first thing that you need to do is get a, get a container. And uh, this right here is a 60 gallon uh, uh, food grade uh, number two plastic um, container and it had some sort of food product in it before. There are a lot of different uh, types of barrels you can choose. Uh, we have one over here that's a 55 gallon drum uh, that's a closed top and these are probably the most popular and ones that you run into a lot. Um, these you can, a lot of times you can get these for free like either Craigslist or just walking around your neighborhood and that kind of thing um, to find a re repurposed or a used uh, 55 gallon drum. Uh, these you're more likely to spend maybe 20 bucks on, 20, 25, um, and um, there are some good spots to, to, find, to find those. Um, and the, uh, you can even go as far as like a 275 gallon tote, which is the biggest uh, kind of regularly available that I have. Um, it's also good to, to choose a, kind of an opaque instead of a transparent uh, color. White, so white can, ha can have the effect of like growing a lot of algae, whereas something like this with the orange or a black um, wouldn't have that effect. So that's something to consider uh, when, you, uh, when you're choosing a barrel. Um, 60 gallons is about, about kind of the average size. So today I'm going to assemble a 60 gallon barrel and um, I've done some drilling on it and the, the, actually the only tool you really need with the drilling is a one and a half inch hole saw. And um, you might be able to borrow it from your neighbor or pick one up at a hardware store for a few bucks. It's not too expensive. But pretty much this is a drill and the, uh, and the one and a half inch hole saw is pretty much what you need. Um, so I've already drilled the cap here on this and give you guys a quick look at that if you can see it. But, um, and that was just with the one and a half inch hole saw. And then I made a, drilled a hole right at the bottom of the barrel um, right here. And that's, that'll be for the spigot to go in. Um, and the reason I drill before I clean is uh, that I use the, the hole at the bottom to drain with. So after you're washing out the used container, you've already got it drilled. So you can just, instead of having to lift it up over your head, <laughs> you can just uh, easily, you know, kind of just let it drain that way. So that's why I drill before cleaning. Um, and the one, the one hole I'm going to drill is the overflow. And... Um, and what I do when I, when I, when I drill is to um, flip the drill into reverse. And I found that uh, it just makes it that much easier. Um, some, some of the hole saws, uh, if you've got it in forward, you can really kind of hurt your wrist. So I flip the drill into reverse. And, uh, and this is for the overflow here. Um, and uh, I've got a, a pipe that comes up to the top. Here, so um, I've kind of measured it a little bit, um, and what I well I'll what I'll do is just drill that hole here, and I'll just show you how that's that's done with this one. But yeah, there you go. So that's your that's your hole for the overflow. And, um, and so it goes a lot better when you've got the drill in reverse. Um, and uh, now if this was at home, I would clean it and that kind of stuff, but I've already cleaned this one. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and start with the assembly. Uh, the, parts, the parts that I use, um, and I'll, I'll show you these for the overflow. Um, this is, these are the parts that are for the overflow. And um, they, uh, they go in the hole we just drilled, um, but I don't use any glue with that. I just, uh, it kind of fits nicely into there. And um, this is the first part that goes in. And, and um, so when the water gets to the top of the barrel, and you'll, you'll be able to see this later, um, it'll automatically flow down and out. So, so having this piece on the outside, it'll flow out of here. And then with a regular size hose, you can kind of direct it where you need it to where you need it to go if it's a standard size hose. Um, and then the two parts for the bottom are the, another one of the, um, the bulkhead fittings. 
these are great. They just don't, uh, they'll, they'll really, they're really designed not to leak. And so they should work, last for a long time. Uh, this is a ball valve spigot. And uh, these are nice to have. It's just a non-restrictive flow. Um, but just a quarter turn opens it wide. And since rain barrels are so low pressure, this really helps with that. So, um, so these are the parts. And the first part we're going to start with for the over, we're going to start uh, assembling the overflow. And this is the piece that goes on the, uh, goes on the inside. And uh, basically, I just unscrew the, unscrew the nut there. And then this thick rubber washer is for the inside. Um, and I insert this into the hole I just drilled. And this, this piece here will be facing the top of the barrel. So um, I slip that in like this. And then just follow the arrow on, on this piece to tighten it up. Yeah, let's see how we can. Yeah, there we go. Just tighten this guy up. It's a good overflow. It really helps move the water because um, they fill up really quickly. And it's nice to have a good overflow like this. It's really user friendly and uh, help move the water away from, you know, you can really direct it where you want it to go. So I just tighten them by hand. I don't use any tools with it. And I don't use any glue with this this one either, um, but this one was kind of uh, kind of pre-measured, and I get that right right down into the right down into there. So you can kind of see right at this level. That's where the when the water gets to that level, it'll automatically flow down and out. And uh, and then the last piece of the overflow is this, and it's um it's a taped uh, taped elbow there. And that screws right in, right into here. Then again, I just do it by hand. Um, and this is the last part of the overflow. But that'll end up facing the ground. And so when the water gets here, it'll automatically flow out of here. And then you can just screw on a regular, regular hose to that and really direct it where you want it to go. Um, into another container, back into your drain. Maybe you've got a plant in your yard that needs more water. Um, that can be run out to that too. So, so that's that. And then um, the next part is for the spigot at the bottom. And this is the another one of the bulkhead fittings. And again, um, I take off the thick nut there and keep the thick uh, rubber washer on the inside, just like so. And. Uh, this is my trade secret here. This is called a tomato steak. <laughs> and uh, this will go right through the hole at the bottom. And this will, this, you don't need any small person to help you with this, or you don't have to you know, reach in there yourself. You just use this tomato steak and then hang on to the steak and the, and the bulkhead. Release the bulkhead. And it should pop its head right out of that hole. And then hang on to it. And then and that'll screw right, right into there. So yeah, this nice and easily. Um, and again, with this, with this uh, kit, um, I don't use any, any glue at all. It just doesn't need it. Um, and it works great without it. So I tighten this, this all up here. And again, just tighten by hand, nothing special. And then the last, last piece is here with the ball valve spigot. And I put Teflon tape around all of the, you know, the the, uh, the pieces here just to uh, help with that. I wrap it three times around, so then this will screw right in. And again, just take your time with this. There's no hurry. Just kind of make sure it, it's it's threaded nicely, and just keep turning it by hand. Doesn't have to be super tight. And just kind of leave that with the with the red handle on the top, with the handle on the top. And again, this is a ball valve spigot, so the flow is really good. It's a non-restrictive flow, so just a quarter turn opens it wide, and uh, with a you know kind of a very very low <laughs> pressure uh, thing like a rain barrel, it's nice to have a, a non-restrictive flow like that. So we're almost almost there. Um, the next stop, next stage here is the uh, 
is the uh, the ring on the the cap on the for the barrel, and uh, you can see that uh, I drilled some one and a half inch holes there just with the hole saw. And again, you flip that drill into reverse and just drill the holes there. Um, and I use just an aluminum mesh screen on that. It's removable. And the way I, I make those is basically you've got this cap. A lot of these barrels are designed with a cap and a ring. And um, with, with the cap, I just place it over the top of, of uh, just an aluminum mesh screen like this. And so set it right on there. And uh, then I'll just trace around it with a permanent marker and then cut kind of on the outside of that line. And uh, so that's basically what, you know, that's how you get the screen. And the nice thing is it'll fit kind of snugly in there. And when you need to um, clean out the screen, it'll catch the roof debris and keep out mosquitoes. You can just take it, rinse it off, put it, put it back on. Um, and then it, it will screw on like that. And uh, yeah, and just one last um, thing for this one, you're almost ready. Uh, it's, uh, it's just really inexpensive olive oil, makes these things look really good. So hopefully you guys at home will be able to see the difference um, just with a little uh, rain barrel polish here, <laughs> also known as olive oil. And uh, it can really, I'll just do a little bit of this so you get an idea how that would look. But it gives it a nice look. And you can also paint these too, um, just with an acrylic paint. Um, a lot of people paint them to match the color of the house. Um, but um, yeah, and so that's, yeah, that's the assembly for the, for the 60 gallon. Uh, thanks for watching today. You know, if you like the video and, and uh, you can press like and also subscribe and um, thank you for thanks for watching today and happy harvesting and just have have fun.